what's going on you guys this is hyperion blue gt it's time to get ready for round three of the 2019 20 exhibition series on gran turismo sports now we are racing on circuit de spa franken champs for 15 laps and this time we'll be racing on group one category for today so hope this is going to get everything we'll be going super fast we'll be able to take on the belgium grand prix track so Choose any group 1 car to be ready to choose, so this is going to get everything we'll be prepared to get started. So, going to use the Toyota TSO50 Hybrid with the UDRS library, so it will also to check the balance of performance will get started. So, we are getting excited to be prepared for the moment we've been waiting for. So, before enjoying watching the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some more videos if you like. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment, so let's go and get ready to race, and let's get started. Here we go folks, this is going to be able to take 15 laps around in Spa Frankenchamp, so hope we're about to be able to get ready for a Group 1 prototype race car, we'll be able to get started for a challenge, so this will be able to take a good clean race, we're always going to be able to take prepare, we're always going to do a lot of training since we took seven days of Spa Frankenchamps from, from a few weeks ago so maybe this is going to get very different for a different racing category so hope we will but might be able to race on Spa Frankenchamps in the manufacturer series so this will be able to begin to get started for this race so here we go this will be able to have the group one race will be able to get ready to go so here we go let's get started Here we go, it's round 3 of the 2019-20 Exhibition Series on Grand Turismo Sport on Season 2, racing on in Spa Frankenstein by using Group 1, so here we go, let's begin. First up is El Mach, Coco VR with an Audi R18, second place is Infidesz in the 2016 Audi R18, third place is Juan W in the Audi R18, Fourth place is Miguel 8520 with a Toyota TSO 50 Hybrid. Fifth place is T-Hens 562 with a Peugeot 908. Sixth place is Sir Beard Play with a McLaren 50 GT Group 1. Seventh place is Pro G 2112 with a Peugeot 750R Hybrid 50 GT. Eighth place is Max RPM 87 with the Audi R18. Ninth place is myself with a UTRS Library on the TSO 50 Hybrid. 10th place is Rafi Rivera with the Audi R18 2016. 11th place is the Rent Match 321 with the 2011 Audi R18. 12th place is Nas School 6 of 9 with the 2016 Audi R18. 8th, 13th place is Exor Bus with the Audi Vision GT. 14th place is Red Hoopla 777 with the second gen Audi R18. 15th place is Chicken Chaser 60 in the Jaguar SJR9. 16th place is Christian Kamalak. 17th place is TRL 6 LPS for the Mazda 787B. 18th place is Rob 3R4 for the 6th Gen Audi R18. So this is going to be quite very excellent to be able to begin the race. So hope this is going to be able to take 15 laps around in Spa Frankenstein for the first time and for the moment that we will always going to get ready to take a lot of good perfection out there so going to be ready to take the chicane at the last turn so looks like the jets are flying in and here we go this will be the only best race we'll be able to enjoy it so let's get prepared and let's get ready to race to be started out for but that was a very grand entrance for these Jets are now flying in to be able to re represent the country of Belgium and then looks like this is going to be able to have that sharp turn is going to be coming in so 
this is going to be a very tough risk we're always going to keep it careful for so gonna make sure we're always gonna be able to keep it up we'll stay faster we might be able to going in for so here comes that turn and oh man looks like this is gonna be a very tough one so gonna make sure to keep it well careful for the race mobility so that will might cause a penalty on it so that will might take 0.5 seconds by the track limit so this is gonna get everything to be well intense to see it but it is gonna be a very competitive by taking a top start is going to get started out for so looks like everybody is still trying to keep it concentrated so this is going to be a very tight situation out there so this is going to get everything will take the struggle is going to be able to going in vision gt group ones and lmp1 battle out to be able to survive this race is going to get very tougher it gets because this will be able to test our skills to the limit it is going to be a very tough one we might be able to keep it up for a prototype race car we'll be able to coming in for now looks like gonna be able to take the action and then going in onto eighth place will might be able to step forward to be able to proceed. So getting closer on to max RPM 87's position is gonna get very tighter. It gets will might be able to stay together. So everybody is definitely might be able to take a lot of few pressure. It's gonna get everything going on for. So it will always gonna keep keep up the pace. Will always gonna stay faster. Will might be able to take the higher limits will be able to go on the upper hand is gonna be able to take a lot of few distance is gonna get everything going on for so and oh man looks like almost giving a little bit more tip up on the max rpm 87 so that might be costing a one second penalty so that was definitely might be additional need to be very reminder to be keep it careful so that might be able to loosen up on the effect so it looks like max rpm 87 is definitely might be having a little tough time to be able to take a little bit more time to be able to go for a little bit more run on recovery so that's going to be a very hard time to be able to stop at 10th place this is going to be a very tough opportunity out there folks so group one race on Bob franken champ is going to be a very important opportunity it's going to make sure we'll be able to take the position we'll be able to keep it responsibility to be able to stay careful we we'll, might be able to maintain on it now looks like this is going to be able to have that penalty to be worn up on it so this is going to get everything will get closer for so this is going to be able to take a little bit more position to stay on it back onto ninth place and then it looks like not go six of nine is definitely got that 0.5 second penalty hope he can probably be able to remove it until the next lap we will be able to going back in onto the penalty line so this is going to be a very tough moment to be able to see that every driver are still going to be able to reach it in for so gonna make sure to be able to have a one little standstill on it so this is going to be able to take a lot of few handling in to be able to see it so oh man it looks like almost getting off the track and then this is going to be a very tough one to be able to see it so that might be able to have a three second penalty on those goal six of nine so that is going to be a very tough hard chance luck is going to get everything has to stay together so hope this is going to be a very busy challenge situation out there so going to make sure to be very respectful it's going to get very tougher we're also going to make sure to avoid the criticism it's going to get everything well tightened up on it so this is going to get very difficult to be able to see it so it will always going to be able to take a few tests it's going to get everything needs to take the limit we're also going to be very careful because this is going to be a very tough moment it's going to get everything to see it there folks so this is going to be able to going on we'll move on in onto the next lap so this is going to be a very challenging situation out there because it's going to get very intense to see it so this is going to be able to take plenty of few steps we we'll might be able to keep it up now looks like John is now taking in the lead so he is going to be able to take first place at the podium so this is going to be a very tough busy race going on so going to make sure to keep up the skills we're always going to be able to find a good motivation on it so this is going to be able to take a lot of few steps we we'll might be able to take the higher limits it's going to get everything going on to get faster him so going to take that turn and then going on to the apex and then this is going to be able to see max rpm 87 and oh man it looks like that is going to be pretty close out there so that was quite 
giving a hard time for me. So looks like Max RPM 87 took the right thing. So looks like this is going to be able to have a few encounterments with the UTRS racing team. It's going to be a very exclamation to be able to have. So looks like this is going to be able to see. So TRL 6 LBS is going to be able to catch up by using the Mazda 787B because this is going to be able to have that stealth model variation. It's going to be quite going faster. We'll be able to take the chance to be able to reach up onto the top three in no time. So this is going to be a very best part for the Mazda Rotary LMP race car. It's going to get everything we'll be able to take on with some LMP1 race car and Vision GT Group 1 are definitely might be going on for. So this is going to be able to have a Group C car. It is going to get everything. We'll take the challenge. We'll be able to catch up. So hope the LMP1 racers are still trying to be able to keep it up. And oh man, looks like this is going to be able to have a little bit more bumper to bumper edge out there. So this is going to get everything. We'll be able to keep it up on side distance. It's going to be able to see it. So hope they did. Definitely might be able to take lots of possibilities to be able to keep it there. Then this is going to be able to going on to be able to take a few more drafts and then moving on to the fourth lap. So speaking of bumper to bumper, so giving a little bit more draft to draft is going to get everything we'll be hanging on for. So it's going to get everything we we'll might need to stay on it. So it was definitely might be able to have few penalties out there. So taking a lot of limit is going to be a very tough one. Now they all oh man, it looks like this is going to be a very compromise around here for this one folks so this is going to be a very tough one so hope everybody is doing all right so looks like this is going to be a very tough bump out there so going to make sure to be very careful so it's going to be quite very tough where it gets to see it so it might be able to get worse and oh man almost lost that grip for myself so this is going to be a very tough one so this is going to be able to cause a lot of sportsmanship rating out there so gives a lot of poor effort out there so going to make sure to be very careful whenever you're hitting at so that might be quite getting in by having a losing edge out there so this is going to be needs to take plenty of practice on the track we'll be able to use group one by now so hope everybody could probably be able to take some time we'll be able to wait until the group three race on spot ranking champs later on in the manufacturer series until this is going to be able to take on in December later on so it's going to get very intense to be able to see how every other racers are still trying to be able to keep up the motivation but it's definitely might be having a lot of few mistakes out there so going to make sure to keep it well careful so there will be recent consequences it's going to be able to coming in for recent outcome and events so it will might need to learn to stay careful because got to make sure to keep your racing mobility to keep it well under control by using the group one race car it's going to be a very tough one we're always going to stay together we we'll, might need to be able to have one good perfection we're also going to be able to take that good mobility now it's going to be able to going in onto the fifth lap at the end of wave one so this is going to be able to see how everybody is still trying to keep it up so it only has 41 seconds up ahead from my current position so this is going to be able to take one edge of a battle it's going to get everything to be getting closer for now it looks like if the visualist is now in third place so it looks like he can probably be able to catch up onto El Madrigal PR is still going on to be able to catch up onto Juan it is now going to be able to take on the first place lead he is going to be able to take the going on the upper hand it's going to be quite going well to be able to take on the top ranking champ is going to get very big the best part is going to get everything will stay together we're always going to be able to find a good turn we're also going to following up on the apex but this is going to be a very tough one to see how everybody is definitely might be able to try to keep it up on it so it is definitely might be able to have differences from the GT World Tour but it was going to be able to have different categories so we're going to make sure to be very careful because having a one tough race on the Belgium racetrack is going to be a very challenging to be able to test our skills to go on the higher limits we'll be able to test our speed it is going to get everything we'll be prepared for but it will always going to be able to have the moment like the World Endurance Championship 
since the six hours of Spa, so it was that we might be able to enjoy the best race moments to be able to take off a lot of pressure is going to get everything we'll be going on for. Now, it looks like Grant Matt 321 is now going to be able to catch up onto Christian. Camelock is now going to be able to take on in onto the battle of ninth place. It's going to get everything going in for. So, this is going to be able to take two drivers are now going to be able to going in onto the long catch up distance to go. So, it looks like this is going to be able to see how the two drivers are still going out there. We're always going to be able to. Oh man, looks like Christian Camelock is now definitely in 10th place. Rents Matt 321 is in 9th place. He did a pretty good job out there, so he will always going to get everything. We'll take the perfection. We we'll, might be able to keep it together. But somehow, it's always going to be able to try and find a good clean race, but it's always going to be able to take a lot of practice to go to because this is going to be able to do a lot of training to be able to keep it up. So this is going to be able to take a few steps we we'll might need to keep it together because it always goes faster, but it will always going to be able to take a few steps. We're we'll always going to take a good perfection. It's going to get everything. We'll stay on tight. We're we'll always going to be able to have some few grips we'll be going on for. So it's going to be able to take longer races. It's going to get everything going on for. Keep it up, everybody. This is going to be able to take some time. We're always going to be able to have for only a few more laps to go. And remember, three waves is going to be quite important for every five laps of the race. It is going to be very longer we'll be able to take. So this is going to be able to turn the end onto wave two. So this is going to get everything will might go better. So it's always going to be able to take that mobility we're always going to be able to take. So. Christian, Cam Christian Camelot is now back on to ninth place and then looks like Renz Matt is still trying to be able to keep it up because this is going to be able to have a showdown between two Audi R18s and then looks like he just left the race and now he's going to be able to catch up onto Max RPM 87 so this is going to be able to take the long distance it's going to get everything going on for so Right now, going to be able to take the challenge with Grant's Mat 321 on the battle of ninth place is going on. So, this is going to be a very fast time on it. So, looks like going to be able to be very careful onto the penalty. So, this will might take 0.5 seconds of the clock. Is going to get everything needs to be very careful. Grant's Mat 321 is in the pits now. It's going to get everything to be prepared for. So. Changing up different tires is going to get everything will be needed to be able to go with greasy medium or hard tires. So this is going to be able to have everything to be well checked up on it. Now it's always down to me to be able to catch up onto Miguel 8520 on the positions while Max RPM 87 is in seventh place. Now this is going to be able to going in onto the penalty line and then this will might be able to slow down quick time and then going back on the rush and then this is going to get everything will might take eight place whenever i'm about to catch up because miguel 8520 is going to be able to take some time to be able to take a few more steps will be able to take the perfection is going to get everything going on to be able to take a good mobility because using the toyota tso 50 hybrid is going to be able to have a best steering capability we're always going to be able to stay on track we'll always keep it together now it's going to be able to get closer in onto Miguel 8520 gonna keep up the faster work it is going to be able to take some few distance we might be able to take it's going to get everything we'll also need some time to be able to take some few apex turns it's going to get everything perfection on the inside or Whenever it's going to be able to have the outside, we're always going to be able to have safety time for. Almost had that grip, so going to make sure to keep it careful because it's going to be very intense to be able to keep it up. We're always going to stay together, but the tires is still going on, so it will might be able to take some time. We're always going to be able to have a lot of grip work. It's going to get everything we'll be able to get settled in for. And now this is going to be coming in onto the 8th lap, so it looks like there's yellow flag just definitely calling in for it, so this is going to be able to have no passing zone on it, so it definitely might be all clear for now, so this one might be able to move on to be able to get settled, we'll press forward. 
but it was pretty tough to be able to see it so this one might be able to give a little bit more time so max rpm 87 is in eighth place miguel 8520 takes seventh place and now he's going to be able to keep it up will might be able to take a few times it's going to get everything going faster on it so it will always going to need to be able to take a few speeds we're also going to be able to go on the acceleration Now, it's going to be able to take that few turns, it's going to get everything we'll be stepping on for, so now, going to be able to catch up onto Max RPM 87, turn position, so this is going to be able to take some few distance, it's going to be able to get some time to be able to take one good perfection, it's going to get everything we'll stay on it, we'll be able to have a good sportsmanship rating, we might be able to have a chance on it. Now it looks like Juan Stuff Blue is now definitely in on first place, so he can probably be able to do it. So this is going to be able to take some few more laps to get everything going. So now he's on the ninth lap, and he is going faster than us because it's going to be very challenging. We'll be able to go in on a long way of distance. It's going to get everything. We'll be able to keep it up on it. Now even the turns is going to be able to keep it well simple and clean will might be able to take a lot of few steps it's going to get everything going so it looks like max rpm 87 is about to catch up onto miguel 8520 so this is going to be very closer to see how the two are definitely might be able to keep it in on the high speed edge is going to get everything going on for now looks like getting a little bit far distance to be able to take the chicane at the last turn so this is going to be quite very well to be able to see how it performs for now it looks like TRL 6 LPS is now going to be able to catch up onto my current position. So taking that chicane at the last turn is going to get everything we'll move forward. We'll be able to proceed. So this is going to be able to get a little bit harder. We we'll might be able to take it on for. So now onto the ninth lap is going to get everything we'll be going on. So going to make sure to be able to have that corner to be going in correctly by the speed because it's going to get very riskful if we have to avoid bumping into each other we might be able to cause the penalty or decrease sportsmanship rating and even float as well so got to make sure to be able to take that perfection is going to be a very tough one we're always going to be able to find the good capability skills we'll be able to perform But it will always going to be able to take a few more steps. It's going to be able to keep up the pressure. Now it's going to be going closer. And it's going to get everything going faster. We might be able to take it on for it. So it looks like Max RPM 87 takes seventh place. And then Miguel 8520 is definitely might be able to going back in for it. And it looks like almost getting off the track. And now he is about to catch up onto Max RPM 87's position. But this is going to be a very challenging battle out there, folks. We'll be able to take the stand for Toyota and Audi. It's going to be a very challenging moment. We'll be able to step up and keep prepared for. So this is going to be able to take a lot of few step efforts. It's going to get everything going in between two. LMP1 car brands are about to be able to race on the Spa Franken Champ. It's going to get everything going on for. So now onto the scene, and this is going to be able to catching up on the distance. So getting closer onto Miguel 8520's position is going to get everything going closer to be able to reach up onto Max RPM 87. Now it's going to be able to get closer in, so this is going to be able to have the perfect time to have Max RPM 87 in the pit. And now going in to be able to resume the run, we'll be able to go forward. So. Lap number 10 at the end of wave 2 is going in. So this is going to be a very faster moment out there folks. So this is going to be able to get closer to be able to reach forward. Now it's going to be able to going in onto Miguel 8520. So he almost lost that grip. So he can probably be able to survive this one because he will try to keep it well steady up and be focused on it. So this is going to be able to take a little bit more long distance to be able to be made for. Now it's going to be able to going in onto 8th place for, for the UDRS racing team and now this is going to get everything to be well handling in to be able to stay careful but it's going to be able to take some tough grip. Will might be able to take the little upper hand, it's going to be able to go in 
will be able to have that inside turn is going to get everything will do the perfection we're always going to be able to take some few steps it's going to be getting a little bit more time but it will need the mobility we're always going to stay balanced we're always going to be able to keep it concentrated that was a very good turn so this is going to be able to get closer in onto Miguel 8520's position so this is going to be able to have that pit stop to be recommended. We'll be able to go in. We're also going to be able to have a new tire compound we'll be able to get set up for. Now it looks like El Matrico PR is in the pits and now he's going to be able to change up the tires. So this is going to be able to have some few recommends. It's going to get everything going. Juan Dapalu is now stepping going in to be able to take the first place we're always going to keep it up on it so this is going to be able to have I'd be delicious is now going to be in second place now it's going to be able to see that the top three drivers in the separate distance is going to get everything going on so this will might be able to take a little bit more effort out there we'll keep it up on it so this is going to be able to going in onto the pits so this one might be able to have the UTRS racing team will change up into the racing medium tires so this one might give the little extra leers on the field so this will be all good for now so it looks like Max RPM 87 passes me before I'm coming out of the pits and now this is going to get everything to be able to resume the action we'll be able to catch up on it so gonna make sure to be able to take that good high speed hill we'll climb up and then this is going to be able to take a lot of pressure out there we're always going to be able to keep it up we'll take a lot of good perfection on it so this is going to be able to have 11 laps only four more laps to go so this is going to get everything we'll keep it up we'll stay faster we're always going to be able to take the good limit we might be able to take a good position it's going to get everything we'll stay on it but it will always going to be able to have a brief moment. We'll always keep it together. Now, it definitely might be able to see it. So, hope everybody is still trying to keep it up. And then it looks like Juan Dalu is now in the pits. And then it looks like Hyperlicious is now in first place. So, this is going to be able to take one driver to overtake to be in the lead so while the other drivers are still going to be able to keep it up on it so it looks like this is going to be able to have Wanda who is now going to be coming out of the pits and then this is going to be able to reach up into second place so he can probably be able to keep it up because this is going to be able to take a lot of few efforts out there we're always going to be able to keep trying because it will take longer mobility it's going to get everything we'll keep it prepared for gonna have to make sure to be able to keep up the faster work is gonna get everything we'll keep it up now it's gonna be able to take that turn to be able to do it nice and steady and take the correction we we'll, might be able to move on in onto the 12 laps so three more to go folks so this race is about to get super tough out there we're also gonna need that acceleration is going to get everything will be pushed the limits it's going to get everything will go forward so this is going to be able to have the total gap distance of 52 seconds up ahead so this is going to be able to take very long we're also going to be able to endure but it will need to take running strategies will might need it to go prepare we're also going to take the higher limits we're always going to need to take the pressure up on it so Gonna make sure we're always gonna do it perfectly, folks. It's gonna get very tougher out there. We'll be able to see it. Taking no prisoners on the run, and this time it's gonna get everything to be very challenging for every racer. We'll be able to take the pressure on, so it will always gonna be able to maintain the pace. We'll keep it together. Now, it looks like this is gonna be able to how Max RPM A7 is about to be able to continue on to catch up onto Miguel 8520's position but it's going to be able to take long distance it's going to get everything well pressured up to be able to stay steady we're always going to keep it together because every group one category race cars are still always going to be able to work fast to be able to achieve because hope you guys really 
did all the training out there, so this will might be able to train more whenever we have to keep it up. It will always gonna be able to be practiced to be perfect. We're always gonna be able to have one good chance for every driver who might be able to do it because mobilities are important. We're always gonna stay balanced. We'll always keep up the pressure. Now it looks like Frog 2112 is in the pits, so he's gonna be able to change up the tires and then giving a little bit of time to re refuel. So this one might be able to get closer. So lap number 13 is on the way. So it's gonna get very closer to be able to have two more to go. Now going back onto eighth place and then this is gonna get very challenging up to be able to stay on the higher limits. We'll also catch up onto Max RPM 87 or Miguel 8520. So this is gonna be able to have two challenging drivers for this moment to enjoy it. So it will always gonna keep it up. We'll stay strong. We'll always gonna be able to have a lot of few distance. We we'll might be able to take the upper hand. We'll might be able to take for the forward way. Now, looks like this is going to be able to have the top three drivers are still doing, keeping up on it. So, I'm Balicious is now going to be able to take the first place. It's going to get everything will be going on. So, onto the lap number 14 is going to get nearly there. So, this is going to be able to have the first place drivers is going to be able to take the checkered flag at the podium for a long distance since we are still trying to be able to keep up we're always going to stay together we're always going to be able to do the good racing mobility but it always going to be able to have a lot of challenge out there gonna make sure to be very careful it is going to get everything will stay on the higher limits frog 2112 is about to be able to overtake my current position in about 1.8 seconds behind so looks like this is going to be able to see it and oh man looks like this is going to be a very hard one out there for Miguel 8520. He just got spun out and slowed down at the, by the sand trap. So this is going to be able to take a little recovery time. We'll be able to keep it up. But he almost had the moment because he is now going to be able to stay on in 10th place. But this is going to be getting a little bit longer. We we'll might be able to catch up to Max RPM 87 for UDRS Racing Team because this is about to be race to be united. Goals on the higher limit. We're also going to take the high speed. We're always going to keep up the work. Now we're on lap number 14 because this is going to get everything Ruby step up. We'll might go forward. We're also going to be able to take. Going in to take the higher limit to be able to catch up on to max RPM 87. It's going to be a very long way of the distance by 2.8 seconds up ahead. Now it's going to be 2.9 seconds up ahead until 3 seconds because this is going to be able to have a lot of few gap distance to be able to show because taking a lot of speed work will be able to take because it's always going to be able to take a lot of few effort. We're always going to be able to reach clean for perfection because challenges will be made we're always going to keep it real simple. We're always going to be able to take plenty of good mobility turns. It's going to get everything. We'll keep it up tight. But we're almost there because it looks like this is going to be able to have one driver to be in onto the final lap of the race. Idepalicious is now going to be able to take the first place at the podium. So this is going to be quite doing good for this first place driver we're always going to keep it up we're always going to be able to stay clean when drug the blue is now going to be able to stay on top on the idealicious lead so he can probably be able to take some time we're always going to keep it up because it's going to be able to take a lot of few distance it's going to be able to going in so that was definitely might be the very challenges for every moment of this race folks we're always going to keep going faster We'll be able to take a lot of few turns. It's going to get everything has to do everything what we could to be able to take the higher challenges will be made. Now it's going to be able to going in closer. So here we go. Final lap and we're on our way. Now it's going to be quite pretty excited out there folks because taking 15 laps on Spa Franca Champs by over 30 minutes of the time this is going to be very long to be able to see how the other drivers are might be able to test our skills. We'll be able to prove it to the higher limit. 
is going to be very challenging longer it takes because this is going to be able to take a little bit more time to be able to have some distance we'll be able to see it so looks like 17th place is going to be able to have have one driver in it so looks like Red Swoopness is now definitely might be able to take a little bit more time so Hope he can probably be able to take a little bit more time with his Audi R18. He is going to be quite doing well to be able to see it. So it looks like he's just having a little bit handling problem over there. So he can probably be able to do his best. The blue black just definitely might be called to give faster cars. We'll press forward. We we'll might be able to be on the way. But this is going to be a very challenging moment for last place drivers who might be able to have the blue flag at the sign so looks like here it is folks drawn the bus blue is taking first place at the podium onto the checkered flag and spa frankenchamp folks he finally done it because he successfully finished first place onto the podium what an amazing race and what an epic challenge for all of us we'll be able to keep it up we'll stay strong we're always going to be able to go faster onto the higher limit. Now, it was pretty excited out there, so top three drivers did pretty good. So, it was definitely might be quite very remarkable to be able to enjoy it. So, hope everybody could probably able to need some more practice on Spa Frankenstein. They still got a long way to go because it's always about having a lot of race to train. We're always going to do some more practice we'll be able to take. So, looks like finally finishing in in 7th place, so looks like it did a pretty good job out there, so looks like this is going to be quite very good. 3 Audi R18 2016 takes the finish line at, the, at first and third place, but it was pretty challenging, but it was pretty good. So, looks like that was doing a lot of challenging race on Spa Frankenchamps, folks, because hope everybody did pretty well, but sometimes the challenges will be made, we'll be able to do some more practice, we'll be able to keep it up, we'll stay together. Now this is going to be able to have the 7th place earnings, we'll be able to do well, so they did a pretty good job out there, so that was going to be able to congratulations to to Juan the Blue for the win, so this is going to be able to have one drivers to be able to chosen in for, so he did pretty good job out there folks because three drivers by using the Audi R18 has finally did pretty good job for having a lot of good clean racing skills but sometimes penalties will be made so if we have to make sure to be keep it well careful we're always going to be able to do for perfection we're always going to be able to do the most but that was some good racing talent out there so it was super fast for having a one Group 1 race is going to get everything we'll be prepared for. So, hope everybody did a pretty good job because it was super fast to be able to take the pressure. We're always going to be able to have our racing skills. We'll go on the higher limit. So, that was a pretty good, excellent race on Spa Frankenchamps for a Group 1 race. So, it will always going to be able to drive super fast if we have to make sure to test our skills to a higher li limit. And also going to be remembered, folks. Gonna make sure to be very strategized if we had to make sure that every drivers are still trying to keep it together because it will always gonna be able to do some more practice when, whenever we like to do. So keep up the good race on Spa Franca Champs. So gonna make sure we're always gonna be able to have a one competition race. Gonna make sure we're always gonna do a lot of training. We're always gonna be able to take a good perfection. We'll always keep it up. All right, folks. Glad that you really enjoyed this race. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and bell for notification upload. And the links on the description down below if you want to see more. I'll be seeing you guys next time for continuing on on the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo Sport. And I'll see you guys later. Keep on racing. Stay clean.